City's under-18 side have had an excellent start to their league campaign, taking maximum points from their last three games against Sunderland, Stoke City and Leicester City. Their week began with a trip to the northeast, and after Brandon Barker's Maisie run and shot, the Black Cats should have taken the lead on 20 minutes, but a close-range header was put wide. Patience was the word of the day and this was evident over the 90 minutes. Barker was finding space down the left, but Daniel Lima couldn't quite find the angle to test the host keeper. City's dominance finally paid off when George and Timo volleyed home from a corner. It was just rewards for the winger after his excellent display against West Brom the week before. Jack Byrne was next to test the Sunderland keeper, but his shot from distance was palmed to safety. The host had another great chance on 68 minutes. The Blues were caught on the break, but luckily for Billy O'Brien and his defence, the shot from Sunderland's front man was wayward. City's second killed the game and it arrived eight minutes later. A free kick from the left was inadvertently put into the net by the Black Cats defender. Four days later and Stoke City were the visitors to Plant Lane in the Blues' first home game this season. And it was Barker showing his silky dribbling skills once again to fashion an early opening. Matthias Bosertz and Angus Gunn were included in the starting 11 and it was the latter who was called into action with a great close-range save. Just before the half hour, City took a deserved lead. George and Tima's perfect through ball found the feet of Daniel Lima, and with the help of a defender, the striker found the net. Gunn, who was a surprise inclusion, was called into action again shortly afterwards, tipping away a header from Derice Richards from six yards. That save would prove to be decisive as three minutes into the second half, City doubled their lead. Denzel Boado finishing off a well-worked passage of play to open his account for the season. Stoke's response was almost immediate and was worth the admission fee alone as Rene Pringle acrobatically halved the deficit. That strike meant the remainder of the match was played in a very open manner, with both sides creating good chances, the best of which falling to Lima, who couldn't get a two on Barker's cross. And the Young Blues made it an unbeaten start to their season last Saturday with a narrow win against Leicester City. The Foxes made life difficult for Jason Wilcox's side, Keane Bryan firing a warning shot from distance early on. That effort was the best of the first half for the Blues and they were still trying to find that end product, Lima going close on this occasion. Leicester were holding firm and struggled to get out of their half, such was the dominance of the Blues. And with the host's next attack, left back Jose Angelino stung the palms of the Foxes keeper from 25 yards. With the minutes ticking by and City camped in the Leicester half, something had to give. And with a minute remaining, the watertight Fox's defence was finally breached. Boado laying off to substitute Bersan Selina for the Norwegian to calmly slot home and keep the Blues' unblemished record intact. 1-0 the final score from Platlane.